In this free as Max Tips and Tricks video, I want to talk about the auto grid, which is available when you start creating an object. Um, and the nice thing is that you can create a um, additional grid which stays the active grid. So let me let me uh, show you an example. So if I go into any kind of primitive lights or shape. Um, the auto grid options are available. That's not very uh, interesting by default. Well, though, <laughs> when you start hovering over any kind of particular face, um, this is this is what you get. So you will get a, a auto grid alignment. So when you start creating an object um, on a, an existing surface, the object is automatically aligned for you. Uh, the downside is it's not exactly precise, so the point where you click is literally where you start creating your object. Um, the cool thing is with the auto grid, when auto grid is activated, and before you use your first left mouse click, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, uh, besides creating the new object, you're also creating a new grid which stays active. Um, so when I create a new object, I'm still creating on that particular grid. Um, so this was how we started in 3ds Max more than 20 years ago by creating some construction planes. A grid is a helper object, so the grid itself is still available as an as an object in the helpers, uh, in the helper section of 3ds Max. And if I now want to get back to the home grid, the, the, the only thing you need to do is just select the grid. Um, and use your quad menu. So if I do a right click on the grid, I'm able to go back to the home grid. So if I activate the home grid again, now the home grid is active and I still have access to the uh, earlier created grid. So if I do this again, if I go into a cylinder, I'm going to activate auto grid. I'm going to hold the Alt key on my keyboard again and I'm creating a new grid object. Um, Again, if I want to go back to the home grid or to this originally created grid, if you select any kind of grid, if you right click on it, you're able to activate a grid. So now this grid is, is back active again. So if I create a, an object, I'm creating back on that grid. And if I want to go back to the home grid, just select any grid, uh, use your quad menus and uh, activate the home grid and you're back. And again, grid is a helper object and it might help you when you start constructing your, your elements in your, in your 3ds Max scene.